So, I'm on my way back from an event that I just uh, went to in Kentucky. The good group of guys down there that have a fairly serious, well put together racing league. Um, it's different from others that I've done in that they just really have it down to a science. They're just implementing the uh, IR tracking system and all that stuff and uh, just put together a really fun race days. They, they actually have like a whole league where they're tracking scores across an entire season and you know using that to calculate you know standings and all that kind of stuff. Really fun. I can't go quite often enough to make it um, to, to do super well because it is like a two hour, two and a half hour drive for me to get there from Indianapolis, but whatever. It's a lot of fun if you live near enough to Louisville to get there and fly with them. I highly recommend it. It's really, really fun. They, they love having new people, and I love going. But on my way down early this morning, I was trying to figure out what is it about flying multi-rotors, especially FPV, that I like and why when I am constantly late at night trying to fix builds right before a race day with just, I mean, honestly, some of the highest stress things that I've ever dealt with trying to get ready for a race day. Um, why do I still want to do it? Why do I still like it? Like, it's a pain in the butt quite often. And you know, and especially when you're trying to say, like, when you're trying to explain to someone what you do, like, you know, it's like, it's a hobby. It's, I have a lot of fun with it. Yeah, it's, it's just a blast. So I was trying to kind of quantify for myself, what does it mean to be a multi-rotor pilot? Why do I like what I do? And, uh, excuse me, I, I think it's come down to, it, it's not just a hobby. And what do I mean by that? And I was trying to come up with an analogy for what I meant. I think I've finally landed on, it's kind of like playing an instrument. So well, let's pick one, the trumpet. If, if you play the trumpet, it's, it's not really a hobby, right? You know, you have to practice and you have to find people to play with. And you go listen to other music that uses your trumpet. You listen, listen to different styles of music, jazz or orchestral or whatever, and you kind of dive into the world of that thing. It's not like you're playing video games where it's like, yeah, I'm just gonna go pick up Rocket League and play for a couple hours just because I need to waste some time. No, like it's different because we're intentionally deciding to practice and to run courses and to meet other people and to hone in our inst our, our, our instrument, you know, and, and, and it's weird because you kind of look at it and you, you don't really think of RC or flying or whatever in that way, and I don't, I don't know why, and I wish it was easier to explain to, to myself, to my wife, to my family, to friends, whomever. That it's it's more than just a hobby. It's something that I I, I actually decide to do. Something that I decide to get better at. Because when you are good at something, when you have practiced and when you have achieved excellence in that thing, it's really fun to do. Like go watch any virtuoso trumpet player, and you can tell they're having a blast. Like it's no longer a chore or whatever. And they're having fun because it's what they're good at. It's because it's what they've practiced at. And so when I go out and I fly and I'm doing flips over, a, you know, a bridge or doing a barrel roll through a, um, you know, really tight tree branches, it's cool. Like, this is something that I've practiced at, that I've gotten good at, that I get to kind of express myself with. And that is just fun. Like... I don't know. It, so, I guess in, in my mind, flying is more 
more like playing an instrument than it is like playing video games or whatever. And, and that's not to say that there aren't people that play video games in the same way that others would play an instrument, but it, it's less common. It's, it's, it's a good analogy. Um, I don't know. I, I really like it. I decide to do it. I decide to go out and fly. I decide to get better at it because it's something that I love. And it's not just because it's a source of entertainment, it's a source of fulfillment, a source of achievement, a source of something that I can do that not that many other people in the world can do. You know, I mean, there's obviously people better than me, but like not very many people can do crazy cool stuff with a, with a mola rotor, and there are many people better than me, but it's just so fun to be good at something. Now, there's other things that might be more useful to be good at. I guess that's true. But, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's a combination of it is fun to be good at it and there are not that many people that do it. I, you know, I, I'm a programmer in real in, 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 in real life, in my day job, and there's a lot of better programmers than me, and so even my best achievement as a programmer doesn't really feel that successful. You know, that, that's fine. I mean, it's, it's a job. I do like what I do, but I, I never, I, I will never be the best at something in programming. I, I still think I have a shot at that with multi-rotors. Maybe. I don't know. There's some pretty good people out there. But, you know, top 100. Sure. That'd be great. And it's just, you know, it's a, it's a new thing. It's a new thing that I can be good at. It's more than a hobby. It's like playing an instrument. It's good. I'm not just wasting my time. I'm enjoying becoming good at something and becoming an expert at something. I don't know. I was just, yeah, on, on my way down this morning, I was kind of thinking through those things and wondering, like, what does it mean to be a multi-rotor pilot? And I, and I think that for those of us that really get into it and want to be really good at it, I think that's a big part of it. So, yeah, it's been Random Thoughts with me. <laughs> I, I hope that other people feel that same way, and if you do, please let me know. I want to hear those of you that want to be a good pilot, what it is that drives you to do that. Is it that sense of achievement or that sense of um, accomplishment? Is it just the cool content that it produces? Like I, There's a lot of reasons. I think these are mine. What are yours? Thanks.